Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net, and on today's tip, I want to work on your forehand volley. And, you know, one of the big mistakes we make on this shot is we push the volley because we reach too far in front. So what I want to get you kind of feeling on this shot is that the contact point's a little bit later to where you can carve the ball and make it skid. Here's an upcoming video. You know, one of the reasons that, that some players have problems with this forehand volley of laying laying the wrist out here too far is is that old teaching cliche well you got to take the volley way out in front if you take the volley way out in front here's the position that you get into and that's not how we want volley we really want to be able to give the volley a little something with a stroke so the contact point is not going to be way out here the contact point is going to be a little bit a little bit closer to your side to where you can stroke and give this ball a little bit of carve so that you can make it skid. So again, make sure you're not too far in front. And the other thing is I see some players set the racket up on it where they're way too vertical in here. It's, it's the same flat thing as here's flat square. This is also flat too. You can't carve this way. You can't carve that way. So again, it's about a, you know what, a 45 degree angle with a racket head coming up out of your wrist to where you can carve around the outer edge really give it some nice skid. All right? Well, this has helped. Any questions? Brent at webtennis.net. Hi, it's Brent. Hope you enjoyed that tip in the forehand volley. You know, and the biggest killer on that forehand volley, even the backhand volley, is getting your contact point so far in front that all you can do is hit the ball flat. You can't really get much underspin what we call carve. So follow that URL you see on the screen and let's get your volleys skidding, staying low and really causing some problems for your opponents.